Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall makeup tutorial. I'm so excited and so ready for fall. This summer has just been way too humid and just not really enjoyable for me because I haven't really been able to do much. So I am beyond ready for fall. Today I am featuring the Kat Von D Eye Contour Palette and I actually think these colors are perfect for fall. You just have a bunch of neutrals and you have this like kind of deep, oh my god, I just like stabbed my freaking palette with my nail. As you guys can see, there's like a wide range of like nude colors, and then there's like this really nice brick red color, which really reminds me of fall. And then of course, you have the kind of burgundy lip, which is super popular for fall and winter time, and I love it. So this is definitely not going to be the last fall makeup tutorial that I upload. Like I said, I am a huge lover of fall, so I am so excited to just do all sorts of fall makeup tutorials and then go into winter time and then Christmas and then yay, new year! So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Michelle said I eat makeup. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment, share, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So I'm going to stop yapping and we're just going to go ahead and get into the video. So I'm just going to start off with my face. First thing I do is take my Nivea Post Shave Balm and apply that as a primer. And then I go into my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I just dot that all over my face. And I work that in with a damp beauty blender sponge. So I literally never show you guys my brow routine just because I can't decide if I should make a whole new video but I just decided to put it into this video. So first I just use a spoolie and I just comb through my eyebrows and then I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown and I go ahead and just fill in the sparse area but I also make sure to clean up the bottom part just to make it really crisp. And as I bring the product through my brows I always make sure to blend it out with the spoolie just so that it looks really blended and just a more natural look. So to clean up my brows, I'm just taking my MAC Prep and Prime Light Boost Highlighter and I like this because it already comes with a brush so I just clean up all around the brows and I usually do this when I really haven't gotten my eyebrows done. If it's like a day after I get my eyebrows done, I don't even bother because they're already cleaned up. And then after that, I just use any brush to blend that out and make sure that it's blended into the foundation. And sometimes after I blend out the highlighter, I find that it's kind of taken away some of the brow product that I have on there. So I just go back in there and I try to perfect it as much as possible. The very last step for my brows is to just take brow gel. I'm using Maybelline Brow Drama and I'm just combing that through the brows to set everything in place. I always make sure to prime my eyelids before I put on eyeshadow and just a tip for you guys, if you guys use concealer over eyeshadow primer, it works just as well and that's basically what I'm doing here. So I'm going in with my Shade & Light Eye Contour Palette and the first shade that I'm taking is called Lazarus and that's kind of like a cool, don't, cool down sort of gray tone color and I'm applying that on the crease and this is going to serve as a transition color. The next color I'm taking, I believe, is called Succubus. I'm totally going to mispronounce these names, but it's this gorgeous, almost red brick color. And I'm applying that just a little bit below where we applied Lazarus. And I love this color because every time I look at it, it just reminds me of like falls and burgundy. So I just thought I would incorporate it to this look. So 
So I'm just darkening up the crease. I'm taking two dark brown colors. So I'm taking Citri and Solas and I'm just applying that with a defined crease brush. I didn't want to wear like any black colors or anything. I really wanted to just keep it in the dark browns and neutral colors. So I'm just going ahead and doing that and blending that out really well. To highlight the brow bone, I am just taking the matte white shadow from the palette. It's called Liberatus and I'm applying that but I'm also using the brush to blend out the crease. So for the lid color, I decided to go in with this peach shade and it's called Ludwin. I absolutely love this shade. It's gorgeous, gorgeous peach color and I think it complements the rest of the eye look so well. So I was definitely in a winged liner kind of mood, so I'm just whipping out my NYC liquid liner. You guys know I'm obsessed with this liner. I won't use any other liner. And I'm just going ahead and creating a wing. You guys can go as thick or as thin as you want. I think I kind of kept it in between. So I did not realize that my camera stopped recording so I just threw on some lashes. I threw on Stella by Coco Lashes and I applied some concealer. I applied the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the areas that I just want to highlight and conceal and I'm just blending that out with a damp beauty blender sponge. and didn't jam out to one of these songs by these amazing fucking people. You're a liar. Just get off my face. Moving on, I am going in with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and of course baking my face. And after that, I'm going in to my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette in the shades Sombre and Shadow Play and just chiseling out the face. You guys know this is my routine. I love these two shades together and I just feel like they're the perfect two contour colors for my skin tone. So as you guys know, I love to be highlighted to the gods, so I am going into my Jaclyn Hill for Becca face palette and I'm taking Prosecco Pop, which is this beautiful gold highlighter, and I am just going ahead and working that into the skin. And after that, for blush, I'm taking the color Amaretto from the same palette and I am just applying that as I normally would. So when my camera stopped recording, I forgot to mention that I also lined my waterline using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Side Eyeliner and I am just now, what am I saying? Now I'm just going ahead and lining my lower lash line and smudging that out using a Q-tip. I find that it works just as well as smudging it out with a brush. And on top of that, I'm taking a really small defined brush and I'm applying the color, any black color that you have. This palette actually comes with a black color. And then I'm going ahead and blending that out with a pencil brush. And I really wanted the bottom of the eyes to be really smoked out, so I'm just really taking my time and blending that out as much as possible. So 
So this is probably my favorite part of the look. It is the lips. So I'm taking this MAC liquid lipstick in the color High Drama and I'm just applying that on the lips. You guys, this is the perfect burgundy color for fall, which is why I chose it. I think it complements this look so well, especially because you have the matte neutral eye, so it's not too heavy on the eyes and you still get that like drama on the lips, which I love. So definitely pick this color up if you guys have it. I love the formula, it's not too drying and it really lasts all day, which is so important when it comes to liquid like, lipsticks. So this is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited for fall and I'm so excited to keep doing fall tutorials. Please don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel. And I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all your support and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.